Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the CryptoQ YouTube channel. And today we're going to be doing some market updates because, to be honest, that's really the only thing that's worth talking about at the moment. Um, I'll probably be touching on and doing some more project reviews, though. I will say most things right now really are not worth your capital to invest in, to say the least. I still think there's a lot of things overvalued in the market, and I really just want to touch on where things are at. I did make a video not too long ago, uh, a couple of videos back, and I did say that this is a bear market rally. And um, based on the remarks today from Jerome Powell, it appears the market thinks so as well. Um, though I do think there's a possibility that inflation is peaking out. Now, of course, we have to wait for more data to come out. So we have to wait for the next report and reading as to where CPI and all of the other important macro data comes in at. If everything continues reporting in the green like I think it is, then I think we're in a good space. So going on from here, you can see I have done some updates to how the videos look in the channels as down here at the like bottom side. Um, this way, I've done some changes, um, trying to slowly improve and change them up. Um, you know, you can see definitely went with a haircut that I personally prefer. And overall, I think I'm doing all right. Um, but I hope you guys are doing all right as well. So let's hop into this. You can see today. Now, this is a daily chart. Bitcoin dropped 6%. Now, the daily did just close about 38 minutes ago, and we're in the green for now. Um, Ethereum took a huge plunge at 11%. And if you want to see a different view of this, this is a crypto heat map. So you've got the various different coins. And this, if you have trading view, this is actually a function um, up in the top. You can't see it on the screen, but there is a little pane where you can actually uh, select what you'd like to see. This is useful. Uh, there are actually a couple of useful things you can change. So if you want to see negative 15 to 15% plus in red, uh, you can click on stuff like EOS is up 21%. Pretty interesting, right? Uh, <laughs> Terra Classic up 34%. Um, Hiobi, 14.8%. So there are some nice things you can do with that. As long as changing the performance, uh, say year to date, doesn't look that good, does it? Uh, there's only a few things that are year to date up good. Uh, funny enough, Leo is doing good. You've got stuff like Lido Dow, uh, which I am a fan of. Stuff uh, ENS actually up 1.5%. That is uh, interesting. OP uh, Optimism is not the greatest, but it's doing okay. Um, Kyber, which is a token I want to talk about um, as for full disclosure uh, I'm not going to focus on it in this video it is something I have started to buy some of but jumping back you can also look at volatility uh, with the percentage for the daily volatility which I do like this quite a bit so I would say trading view is definitely changing up and adding a lot of nice features to their um, platform their product you can also see the stock heat map they had a rough day as well guys it's not just the crypto market suffering here down 3.86 percent on microsoft 5.4 percent on google apple 3.7 you can see pretty much everything is in the red uh, minus a couple things like you've got uh, a healthcare company i'm not familiar with them up a little bit but pretty much everything in the red so keep that in mind, uh, markets overall took a pretty bad beat today, especially being that we are going into the weekend for the traditional markets. So if you pull up stuff like your SPY, you name it, you're not going to see any activity. If you're not familiar with that, they are closed on the weekends. So typically it's a bit different than the 24 seven crypto markets. Overall, uh, seems to be that Every altcoin is taking a pretty big beating. Uh, there's not much of anything that I'm too aware of that I'm at least actively watching that is outperforming. Solana's <laughs> taking a massive beat. I had not realized it dropped down below the 35 mark. Um, 
I might be buying some more of that. Um, I've been really just accumulating some Solana, some Atom, uh, KNC, and a couple others. Um, Atom in particular, I have been buying mainly to be staking, though I haven't bought in this range up here. Um, I'm trying to target the sub $10 range personally for where I'm buying it and staking it more for a longer term position. Uh, I'm still looking to accumulate some link eventually. Um, I still think we could go lower, but it's it's getting to a point where I'm going to be eyeing it a bit more. Uh, Matic still, in my opinion at least, uh, is way too high. It's not something I'm particularly interested in. And guys, don't forget, none of this is financial advice. Um, not even in the slightest. I am not a uh, trading expert by any means. Um, I've done well investing, but I'm not an expert. It's something I am practicing and getting better at every single day. Um, and personally, I think people that want to learn, invest, and get better uh, is the way to go. I always subscribe to the belief that you should improve yourself. And if that's trading that you want to do better at, then spend time researching it, reading books and watching videos. And that goes for pretty much anything. Um, but not to jump on too many tangents here, guys. Uh, BNB is a interesting spot. Um, very actually beautiful arc there. I will say that. Um, I've been slowly accumulating a little bit of BNB, but it's more passively. I'm not actively buying it. Uh, not in this market. Same with most of uh, the DeFi products. Really the only stuff I'm still kind of holding on to is I am holding some GMX still. Um, I have it staked. It's more of just a longer term position. I bought most of mine um, around like the 15 to $20 mark. Um, you know, I, I recommend doing your research on it. I've made videos. Others have made videos that are Twitter threads all over it. Do some due diligence if you are deciding to buy any DeFi token at this point. Um, in all honesty, there's a lot of risk in a lot of DeFi right now. Um, not from the fact of a potential risk of a rug pull, more of a risk in the association that the token valuation can go down substantially more than you might think. Uh, you know, Doge, this was an interesting one. It had this little pump here uh, with the Doge chain coming out. Um, I didn't really want to spend time talking about it, you know, from the kind of local bottom area, uh, run up. If you want to say from here, still ran up to a peak of 33%, 34% pretty much, which is not bad by any regards, uh, but immediately dumped. No surprise there. People are going to take some profit on that. Uh, Sheeb had a massive run up. I think they're supposed to be coming out with like a layer two from what I heard, uh, 53% run up. These meme coins, uh, you know, you, you can, of course, trade them and make money if you are uh, implementing proper risk management. But again, they're meme coins. There is a higher likelihood of them going down more than they are going up. Now, that's maybe a hot take, but that's my opinion on it. Filecoin. I'm not sure how many people are following it. Massive run up. Uh, well, 123%. And it's pretty much dumped all the way back down. That ha that honestly is how most things are going to be happening. And they'll probably go to lower lows. They're going to more than likely, I shouldn't say they are going to, they are more than likely going to make lower lows. And that's just the honest truth. Now, you know, Joey's is a bit different with uh, some of the news they've had. And people are pretty much just degen gambling into like sports coins. I haven't delved into that, but I, I'm sort of aware of what is going on. Uh, privacy tokens have had some attention gathered to them, uh, though I'm not buying any of them right now, in all honesty. Stable coins, uh, <laughs> I am not touching any. Uh, made like i'm not touching any of the new stable coins or the protocols around them uh i'm still mainly just sitting with usdt usdc die and that's about it uh you know some people are kind of concerned regarding usdc and the fact that they can blacklist people i feel like this is pretty well known but maybe i might be the only one 
possibly. Um, so overall, though, I know I've kind of gone on some tangents. It's more of like an update video kind of talking about the markets. This, to me, was expected. Um, I, I didn't think we were going to go into a bull market. I, there, there's no reason, in my opinion, and given the macro situation, to do that. And I think a little bit of due diligence on a lot of people's part will aid in that. Um, if you look into economics, um, especially things like with what Europe has been going through with the euro, it's pretty rough. I mean, we can pull up the euro USDC, or not USDC, the euro US dollar. And this is uh, pretty much down only. <laughs> it's it's uh, pretty much what it is. I mean, you, you can see here how bad it's been beat since April. It's, it's kind of just going down on this. Uh, if we pull up like the DXY, which I need to get out of this. If we pull up the DXY on the dollar index, I think I might have actually pulled up the possibly wrong one. But if we look at this here, you know, there's still chances that we go even higher. And this has been on a massive rally, which for the crypto market isn't necessarily the best thing. You know, we, we don't always want this to be going up, especially with how high it has gotten. I mean, if we zoom out, we go onto a monthly chart. Yeah, it's not at its peak, but that's 1985. That's, that's not really a good comparison, right? I mean, if we go back to kind of the 01 area, you can see, I mean, 120. And I've seen people call for 120 on the DXY. If we see the DXY go to 120 or more, um, my intuition tells me things like Bitcoin here. Which, mind you, this is not going to look pretty if it does, at least not more than likely. Uh, there's a good chance we start seeing some numbers we haven't seen for a very long time. And that's just being honest. There is a lot of risk here. We are in crypto. A lot of people are in DeFi. And people are also in NFTs. While I will proudly say I've been bearish for a while... Um, I don't want to come off as the bear only person. My viewpoint is a mix. Um, I have an investment portfolio and I have a trading portfolio. As a trader and my trader side, if I am trading a token, I'm going to fluctuate between being bullish and bearish depending on what is going on. We go to the weekly. Was I hoping that we could see something like a test at the 2021 open? About the 28k mark for Bitcoin. Yes, I was. I would have loved to do that. That would have been a fantastic trade to capitalize on. I mean, even if you got in a little late, you're talking about a 40, let's just say 40% run up. In a bear market, that in of itself is a great return um, on any asset. I, in my opinion, if I, you compare it to a traditional market, seeing stuff above 15 and 20% returns uh, is pretty unheard of. Most people subscribe to the 7 to 10% a year as just the kind of average, what's expected. Getting above that, in my opinion, is good and if you are doing that then congrats honestly um, however you're doing it congrats there are people doing unethical things to make very high returns and while I don't agree with what they're doing congrats seriously um, there's a point where I have to look at it as what is ethical versus the raw returns uh, and they're different mindsets and different perspectives and people have to keep that in mind but as you can see uh, things are not looking pretty we are going to be coming up to a monthly close here soon and it's not looking good 
So overall, uh, my mindset really has not changed. Have I been tempted to change my mindset? Yeah, I have. Uh, but I don't see a reason yet. Now, if data keeps coming out, showing that inflation and everything else is turning around for the better, and we see reduced rate hikes, then my stance might be changing. And you don't, I, I've said this before, but you don't necessarily have to time the bottom to be successful in trading or investing. Trying to time the bottom or the exact top uh, isn't a very high percentage hit rate for doing so. Can you do it? Yes. Are your chances of doing it high? No, no, they're not. Um, so if, you know, let's say we bought them out, let's say the bottom was on here, then yeah, I bought some, but I didn't load up my bags at these areas. Do I wish I did looking back? Yes. But if I'm able to accumulate in this range down here, say the low 1000s range, and let's say Ethereum over a multi-year time span, and this is multi-year, mind you. Let's just say we go out, say 20, let's just say we'll go here to May of 2025. You know, what if, what if we see it go up here to like 6K? I am personally happy with a 453% return. A 4.5X, I'll take any day. Is it a lengthy time to wait? Yes, of course. But investing isn't necessarily always made to be on a short-term basis. Crypto is volatile. Crypto has amazing run-ups and potentials of making money, but they're, of course, alongside that, have a ton of risk of getting hit with this. So while you can make money, you can also lose pretty much all your money. I mean, this is a 90% candle. And then in the same breath, you see within a few candles. Mind you, this is monthly chart, so we're talking over the course of three months, uh, you know, 1,400% returns. So yes, you can make money, but yes, you can lose all your money. Um, and I'm always here personally in the mindset that I would love to educate people, uh, but I also want to speak the truth of it because 97, 95 Probably 99% of DeFi protocols are just elaborate Ponzi's if we're going to call them what they are. Playing to get your return on your capital is a go-to. Get your return and then after that decide what you want to do. Can you always do that? No. There's many protocols that I'm down and I've lost money in. Am I mad about it? No. I know what I invested and I knew the associated risks with those investments. Uh, so I've kind of rambled on. I've talked about the market, my opinions. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know what you think about what I've done here in terms of changing how the video looks, um, trying to make things look a little bit better and easier. If you've enjoyed it, hope you have a good evening. Bye.